Welcome to the very first lesson of Digital Logic Design. In this tutorial, we will learn about the basic logic gates. Logic gates, we first of all have the name of the logic gate, its symbol, the function, and the truth table. First of all, we have the NOT gate. Symbol, it is represented by this symbol and its function is represented by f is equals to a bar. Like if we pass, like if we have this, if we pass a from the inverter and if a has a value zero, after passing through the inverter, its value will become one. And if the a has become value one, after passing through inverter, its value will become zero. So its truth table is, this is a and this is output. So zero will become one and one will become zero. Now second, we have the AND gate. Its symbol is re represented like this and its function f is represented by a dot b. So actually n is the multiplication of a and b. Like if we pass a and b through the AND gate, so if a and b has the uh, our values like 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. If a and b has the value 0, 0, after passing through the multiplication, it will have the value 0. Similarly, if a has value uh, 0 and b has value 1, then again, the a and the, the, the output will be 0. And uh, with 1 and 1, 0, it, the output will again be 0. So if both will have the value 1, then only then the output will become 1. So that, that's why a and b is act, uh, and gate is actually the multiplication of a and b. In the third one, we have the OR gate. It is represented by this symbol and is actually the addition of a and b. Like it, it, an instrument table will become 0, 0, uh, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So 0, 0 will give 0, 0, 1 will give 1, 1, 0 will give 1, and 1, 1 will give 1. Like if A and B passes through the AND and OR gate, if both will have 0, uh, the output will be 0. If, uh, if any one of them will have 1, the output will be 1. Similarly, 1, 0, 1 and 1, 1, 1. If both will have 1, then output will be 1. So therefore, A, uh, the OR gate is actually the addition of A and B. Now on the fourth one, we have the NAND gate. It is actually the NOT of AND and represented by this AND and a NOT after this after the symbol. So the function is f is equals to a into b, the whole bar, and truth table is a, b, and the output 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So in AND, we have 1 only if both a and b are 1, but in NAND, we have 1 when we have at least 1, 0, and, and when both are 1, it will become 0. The fifth one, we have the NOR gate, similar to the NAND, and uh, it will be the NOR, NOT of OR. So f is equals to a plus b whole bar and its truth table is a b output 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 in uh, in or we have one when at least one uh, uh, input is one but in or we have zero when at least one input is one so we'll have uh, we'll have one over here and we'll have zero in, on the other side so in the sixth one we have the zor gate it is represented by this symbol f is equals to a this plus and a circle over the plus b and its truth table uh, and its other um, values like a b bar plus a bar b so it has other equation like this and its truth table is like a b uh, and the output 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so when both are the same like 0 both inputs are same 0 0 and 1 1 it will give 0 and when one is um, at least one is different it will give 1 and the last one we have x uh, we have xnor it is represented by this uh, xor and an inverter in the end and uh, its its function is f is equals to a zor b bar or a bar b bar plus a b so it will the it will be the invert of the uh, zor gate 0001 1011 so it will give one when, it, when both are same, both inputs are same, it will give one and it will give zero when at least one input is different. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so you will never miss any updates from undergrad academy. Also like the video and subscribe to our channel. 
and comment your queries in the comment section below. Thank you.